Hey everyone, this is Mick from PhoneUpLink.com and in this video I'm going to be giving you a full review of the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play. Now just so you know, if you're here to, uh, to mainly find out about the gaming portion of this phone, obviously because this is a PlayStation certified phone, that's the main um, use of this device, uh, then I have a completely separate video outlining the good and the bad points about this phone in terms of gaming. I shall post that as a video response to this video, so if you're mainly, interest if you're mainly interested in that, then um, yeah, just go click the thumbnail below and take you right to it. Now, anyway, let's get into the review of this phone. Now, first of all, the screen is a 4-inch LCD with LED backlighting. It's, uh, a four it's got a resolution of 480 by 854 On the left-hand side of the device, we have a micro USB charging slot and a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the top we have the Android notification uh, light and power um, power on and lock unlock switch. On the right hand side of the device we have our left and right shoulder buttons as well as our volume rockers. And on the bottom of the device obviously all we have is a little slot for you to put your thumb in to get the battery out, or your fingernail in to get the battery out. Uh, the battery is a 1500 mAh battery, it's running a 1 GHz processor, it also has Android 2.3 with uh, Sony Ericsson's custom overlay. Now, the only issues that I can bring up in terms of the display, one, there doesn't appear to be many, well, uh, well there's, two, yeah, there's two issues, one being the brightness, and the second being um, the, the fact that it doesn't seem to have much scratch resistance. Um, if I, let's see if the phone can, well, the camera can focus in on it. Uh, turn the display off. But there's scuff, there's a scuff basically just there, and that was caused by the iPhone in my pocket. So uh, it doesn't appear to have the best scratch resistance in the world. This phone, which could be a bit of an issue. Um, oh, wait, there it is. There. Yeah, a scuff. It's um, it's not a huge scuff, but still, it's um, it's something that was caused by this. It's not exactly, it's not exactly got the most edges in the world to it. It's not exactly, it's, it's. I can't understand how it managed to scratch it, but yeah, the screen hasn't really got much scratch resistance to it from what I've seen since the iPhone managed to scratch it. I don't have a clue um, how that happened still, but yeah. Anyway, as I said, the only issue that I can bring up with the screen. Is it isn't the, it isn't the best um, screen in the world? Like um, from from Sony, you'd expect something maybe a bit brighter. Um, de well, definitely something that's a bit brighter. Because sometimes when you're playing games like Crash Bandicoot on this, it does dim to the point where sometimes you can't see it. You can't really see it hugely well in um, in open sunlight. So if the sun's reflecting off the off the screen, then you can't well, you basically can't see it. It's nigh unusable when you're playing a game. But uh, when you're sending a text or uh, making a phone call, typing in a number, or finding contact, or reading through an email, it's not that bad in the open sunlight, but mainly when you're running a game, it can be a bit of an issue. Now in terms of battery life, the battery is pretty good. Uh, it managed to get, this is the first Android phone I've tested that has managed to pull me through a four days charge with uh, constant use. I mainly use this phone as a gaming platform, as uh, a media player, and... Uh, mainly sending texts. I've made a few calls on it as well during uh, my longest run on it, but um, yeah, it's mainly media player, gaming platform, texting, and a f on the a few phone calls. Now, in terms of phone calls, I have managed, I have, re well, I've had uh, three dropped calls during the period of times I've had this phone, but uh, I'm not entirely sure if that was just the way I was holding the phone because they were all in one night, literally one after the other after the other, um, to um, one of my friends, and uh, yeah, it's. I don't know if that was just how I was holding the phone, but because after that, it was perfect, no drop calls. But yeah, had to put that in there anyway. Uh, in terms of sound quality, if, while you're on a call, it's pretty damn loud. It's um, it's pretty loud, pretty clear. So you're not going to have any issues hearing um, the person. It's also from what I've been told by the people on the other end. The microphone is pretty good. It, you can tell that it is a phone, um, well, a mobile phone. Um, sometimes, obviously, your house phone does ha tend to have a lot better microphone in it. But, yeah, it's, it does have a pretty good microphone, and 
next speaker so yeah you're not going to have many issues on your phone calls the uh, other issues I have with this phone is well it's more of an issue with Android again keyboard not a fan of the Android keyboard okay so after my little rant about the Android keyboard let's go check out what the loudspeaker quality is like on the Xperia Play now for me this is one of the better uh, loudspeakers on well on a device on the market at the moment um, as I said it's, this phone hasn't got the best of the best in terms of displays it's not the brightest but it's still got a pretty good picture And there you go, that is, um, that's what the loudspeaker quality is like anyway, it's, uh, it's pretty damn clear, I can't play any copyrighted music for obvious reasons, um, so I can't really show you, um, <laughs> how it is uh, for any, um, music, but, um, other than that, the, speak the loudspeaker quality is pretty damn good. Now, overall, what is the Xperia Play like to live with as a phone? It's... As I said, it got it can get me through a day, um, well, a day of heavy usage. To be fair, with um, running Crash Bandicoot, because I got really addicted to playing that game while I've had this phone. Um, it's it's a really addicting game, and um, I'd say the phone has done pretty well to stand up with some pretty um, some pretty harsh usage while uh, <laughs> while it's been with me. I mean, um, Crash Bandicoot. I think the longest I played it for um, was about five hours, and it still had quite a bit of juice left in it. Like um, 30%. So, yeah, for me, it lasts me throughout. Uh, it managed to last me throughout a day's usage. Well, of heavy usage, should I say. I'm going to use this phone as a media player, portable games device, obviously. Um, that's its main functionality. And um, sending a few uh, texts and making a few calls. Uh, but overall, the battery life is pretty damn good. It will last you throughout a day. What's the phone like to live with overall? I'd say it's a pretty damn good phone. Um, for me, it's made me rethink about my opinions about Android because I, I, um, I was kind of biased against Android. I tried to be as as um, as least biased as I possibly can for art reviews. Um, like with the HTC Desire HD, was it wasn't my favourite phone in the world, but uh, yeah, um, it has made me rethink about um, Android. This phone has, uh, in how well the battery was my main issue with Android. So uh, yeah, battery and um, some features on Sense really didn't. Well, I really didn't like them. So uh, yeah. Um, anyway, um, in terms of. The phone, it is a really nice phone to live with. I found it use I found myself using it as a main phone more than my iPhone and if in in my opinion if um if Apple doesn't um bring up something well a bit a bit different this year with the iPhone five then I might switch to a PlayStation certified phone. Uh probably wait for the next generation the Xperia Play or the next uh, PlayStation certified phone because to be fair I'm getting a bit bored of the iPhone. It's a good phone but I'm getting a tad bored of it, to be honest. But anyway, that's about that. It is a really nice phone, so um, if you're still not sure about it, if you're thinking about picking it up, go into your local retailer, ask for a demonstration of the phone. I'm sure I'm sure anyone would be happy to give you a demonstration of this device. That's how uh, phone retailers normally are. Well, in the UK, anyway, I find. So, yeah. Thanks for watching this review, everyone. If you like the rest of our content, please subscribe. It really helps us out. Um, if you like this video, or if you have any opinions to voice about this video, uh, then please leave them in the comment section below. Um, and if you liked this review, then please click the like button. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video everyone, and um, I'll see you in the next one, which will hopefully be a review of the Xperia Arc, well, an unboxing of the Xperia Arc if I actually manage to get my hands on it. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.